So we listen. So what's this roll book we got? Oh, this is just a reference to the monk who sold us Ferrari, Robin Sharma. Oh, that's Shakespeare. excellent. Yeah. yeah, he's great. Yeah, had didn't he the same thing. language as me. Yeah. The same language, the yeah. same same language as yep. John Lacey. Right that says something. That's, that's saying something. That's this it. is Pete Koch. We're breaking it down with old friend John Lacey, and we're bringing it to you now. Hey, Pete Koch here, breaking it down with an old friend, John Lacey. Good to see you, brother. Good to see you, Pete. You know, we go back, we really go back a ways. And, uh, you know, John is a heck of an actor. He's a filmmaker. Uh, he's seen Hollywood from all different sides. That's why I wanted to talk to him on the show. If you're at all interested in getting into show business, there's no man I can think of that can give you a more complete understanding of how the business works. He's run casting uh, sessions. He's run workshops. He's an acting coach. He's a working actor. He's doing the whole thing. Can you go ahead, John? Jump in and, and tell us uh, exactly. You're recalling how we met and, and yeah, where yeah. you're at now. Boy, you know you uh, you're part of that first chapter when we meet in '88, 1988. '88, maybe? right? So that's 27 years ago. <laughs> so yeah, we go back uh, a long time to when I think neither of us really knew what we were doing. We were just getting by on. Uh, well, you, you had an NFL resume to, to kind of uh, boost you, but I just came out here and, and decided to, to dive in and, and train and uh, follow my instincts. I think that's a big part of... Uh, from of, from uh, Minnesota? Yep. Yeah, well, I came from Hawaii, lived in Hawaii for a couple of years, moved here uh, from uh, from Maui, actually, but grew up in Minnesota, you're right. Um, came out here to, to pursue acting and just like, a, you know, like I said, just trusted my instincts and decided to to uh, take it very seriously. I, I never, uh, never kind of gave myself that false, um, you know, I'm going to give myself five years and if things aren't happening, then I'm going to go home. I think that's a real kiss of death for a lot of people that come out here and try to make it in the arts. I think you have to make it a, a life, a lifetime investment. So that's been big for me. John, I can tell the folks mm -hmm. having, you know, been around you so long and all these years and seeing all your, 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 climb in success and also the messages that you deliver as an acting coach that you need to be steady consistent mm -hmm. stay positive mm -hmm. and understand we're in this thing for the long run that's it well, you know a lot of things that apply to to any any vocation really um, you know it's it's a process it's a process and to really uh, have a, a rewarding fulfilling career as an artist you have to embrace the process of what it is you're doing acting songwriting uh, directing writing all of it is is you know we're all works in progress. So to really to really embrace that is is huge, and it's just easier said than done. I think uh, Mark Twain said you know I could live 90 days on a good compliment. Well, actors need validation, and sometimes you go a lot longer than 90 days without something good happening in your career. And what happens consequently to the actor or to the artist is you're not finding validation for what it is that you're putting your your heart and your soul into. And you get discouraged, and exponentially, it just kind of breaks you down, and you end up uh, doing something else. And that's that's what it, that's what it takes to survive as an artist is finding uh, a process by which you can. The beautiful thing about cold read is it takes the onus off of the actor to feel like they're giving a performance because you really can't really. Can you give a performance if you grab a piece of material and spend 10, 15 minutes with it, maybe even a couple hours with it? You can, but that's the wrong way to look at it. You really should look at it as a cold read as uh, kind of a thumbnail est estimation of the material, what you perceive is, is happening, the circumstances, the emotion of the character, and then just bring yourself to it as much as possible. Don't worry about the words so much. Um, keep the script at a place where you can read it and, and play off of the reader. Whether it's a cold read and you've only got a couple hours and oh my god you've got an audition this afternoon and you've only had so much amount of time with the material and this isn't fair what if someone got it the night before and oh my god it's just not fair this is my career is, is all hanging on this audition all this pressure that we put on ourselves you need to release that and just realize that it's always just about your own personal potential what you Yolanda uniquely bring to the role and then let it rip do the best you can and walk out and enjoy the process of being an actor that just auditioned for something forget that you went in on it and then hope for the next one. John, tell me about this concept I've heard you speak about, content creation. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's born of the same uh, the idea of, you know, actors need projects and work breeds work and, and we all know that as artists, but it's easier said than done. So what 
I decided to dedicate most of 2015 was, was to creating content for my actor buddies to enlist them in storytelling. Uh, you know, you're like me, Pete, you, you know, I'm, uh, you know, so many people that have been out here doing what we do, auditioning, uh, workshops, taking classes, theater companies, the kind of stuff that we do to stay in tune as actors. But uh, it's not enough sometimes. So I, uh, I've decided, you know, I'm going to start creating my own content f for, for my fellow actors. So I reached out to a dozen, uh, you know, my best friends, actors that should be working more, to be honest. Uh, it frustrates me to constantly have these conversations with really talented actors. And the, the through line through all of it is that they're not getting out enough. They're, they don't have the right representation or uh, they don't have any projects that inspire them. So I reached out to a dozen actors and I said, listen, you know, you're in this email chain for reasons because I believe in you. Uh, I'm going to write something. You know, don't ask me right now where I'm going with the content, but I have an idea in mind. And uh, I want each of you to, to have some skin in the game, to reach in and, and produce with me. Uh, so I, you know, I took this idea that I had. It was very David Lynch-inspired dream logic, and I wanted to combine the sensibilities, storytelling of, uh, you know, Dashiell Hammett, uh, uh, Raymond Chandler, Mickey Spillane, you know, tough-talking guys and sexy dames, uh, with a visual style of Fellini and De Sica and uh, you know Truffaut, um, and uh, create this world, a web series called The Reveal. And uh, I just started writing, and we put together table reads, and the actors came on board, and pretty soon twelve actors became thirty. And we created this company of, uh, of workshopping actors with this web series concept. Black and white film noir turned it into uh, you know, 12, 7 to 9 minute episodes uh, that went on to do uh, you know, a dozen film festivals. Selected us as uh, outstanding web series of 2015. So it was a great experience. Totally process driven, produced by uh, you know, the actors. And uh, it, was, it was a great experience. Pete Koch was, was uh, the category of one, the, the cast. Uh, God, I look up and down the resume now on IMDb, and it was just, you know, we had great actors. So the folks that don't know a web series <clears throat> is uh, typically seven, eight-minute episodes. It's made, it just could, perfect, just could work perfectly as, a, as a, a start off point for a television series. But again, it's a web series made for the interweb, and you can find this... This particular show, I'm very proud to be involved with the reveal, and uh, the episodes are available on YouTube. But the way you sort of route yourself to that, yeah, show them, is uh, the re the reveal series. series the reveal series .com. All the episodes are, are online, and just you could watch all of them in an hour and twenty minutes and, and get a full ride. It's great. Yeah, if you, so if you place them all together and watch them in sequence, and, and if you got it about an hour, an hour twenty yeah. minutes to do it, go ahead and take it in. It's just walk, just like watching a feature film. Yeah. Really proud of the work we did there. Proud yeah. to be involved. Thanks, man. With John, right. Yeah, John Lacey. Uh, lots to talk about. Mm -hmm. It seems like. Uh, when we get onto one subject, we, we reflexively move on and elevate that to, mm -hmm. to something increasingly uh, that draws us back to our passion, which, mm -hmm. is, which is what we do here at, as actors in, in, in Hollywood. Always storytelling, always creating. That's it, stay in the game. Always storytelling. Well, uh, that does it for this time. This is Pete Koch with John Lacey breaking it down.